Oh my gosh, so it is early, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, of course, we got, shine. we got Cole again. He called me and he was like, let's do a duck pond. And three days later, we're doing a duck pond. So, you guys can see we just moved the duck pen back. We have no idea how big this is gonna be. I don't know, we're, that's gonna be in there. We've got a bunch of random parts, a bunch of stuff going on. But it's another pond build with Cole. So these videos always, you guys seem to love them. It's early, so give me a minute to wake up. But yeah, no, this, this should definitely be sick. Box. Dig away. My favorite part now, it's just time to start digging. It's been a minute since we've done a pond thing. Last thing we did, we had coal over, we did that waterfall. Same guys. But now we're doing a duck pond and we're gonna make it to where we can legitimately drain this thing once a week. Extremely easy, so it's clean for them because they get it very dirty very fast. But it's, all this dirt is extremely soft because the ducks have been on it. So we're just gonna dig out this outline. We should be good to go. So pretty much the whole thing is we're actually digging right now. We've got quite a ways done. But Cole asked me to get gravel last night for this build. And I thought I would surprise him in the morning and let him know that I didn't get it. And I wanted to get hit with him so we could have a good bonding experience going to Lowe's. So now we're going to get the gravel at 7 a.m. And uh, yeah, no. So we're going to hop in the truck and go do this. We got a wheelbarrow, bunch of gravel, time to get home. I gotta move this dirt with the wheelbarrow, and then we gotta lay some gravel, so do it. Build a quack quack pond. Yeah. We've got donuts. Wow, that must make you guys extremely hungry right now. We've gotta get this underground, because this is like a filter. Everything's gonna filter through all of this. That's what's gonna go down there, then they're actually probably gonna have about a foot of water to swim in. So this will be our pond vault, where we put our pump in there. So our pump will be housed inside there. I'm actually gonna do like a little filter too, so you can pull the filter out. Spray it down. Spray it down. I like it. Go maybe two, three weeks without having to refill. That would be crazy. Fresh water for the duckies. Fresh water. Yeah, that's kind of the cool thing though, is like we can go two or three weeks without having to drain this thing. Or if we do, we could drain it once a week. The system to drain, all we gotta do is attach another pipe on there. I gotta come out here, pretty much flip a switch, and boom, it starts draining. But we're trying to get as much filtration in here as possible. For those guys, right over there. Put gravel on that, I mean, there's not much water. We need like this much water, so this needs to go down a lot more. So we're not cutting it. Okay, we are still digging. Well, I'm not actually digging, but that, is, that doesn't matter. We're not gonna pay attention to that. Here is our liner. As you can see, it's actually pretty big. I feel like I feel like we might be able to go bigger. Well, it yeah, it's gonna suck a lot of it in. So it's gonna be more filtration and then just a small area for the yeah for the ducks. But uh, yeah, no, the build going good. This should be a pretty long video, hopefully. Every time I film a video with Cole, it actually goes, actually all the videos I film with Cole do really well. Like I'm pretty sure the last one we filmed is over 100K. It's all you, it's actually just Cole, not me. I have nothing to do with editing or anything like that. Cole, now naturally gains attention so you can see look at that bald head I love it. it's glistening it's blinding me but yeah, you guys can see we've got pretty much like a i don't know like a edge or like a ledge right there and then the filters and everything kind of goes down there this is where the water is going to be up but wow water level somewhere right here okay i like it i like it a lot really yeah well, that'll be, that's what'll fit down there. So this entire contraption is going into that. And then that's where all the filter and everything's going to filter all their stuff. But he's pretty much tamping it right now with a rock. So we've got this crate right here. And we've got our bags of gravel. And then the surrounding rock right here to kind of make it look, you know, fairly decent. Overall, it's a 100% upgrade from a kiddie pool for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta love the ducks. Got, gotta love it. Cool. <laughs> Go! The other way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Get out the other of the way. way. Yeah, go. <laughs> that was scary. Oh my god. Alright, well let's get the liner in. <laughs> we gotta go more out this way. Let's go big gravel. It's working though. The concept is just to have like a little bit of water in there. Yeah. 
enough for them to swim around in, get all submerged and everything. I think we need to come down a little more. Okay. Just to get us some more depth, and then we'll gravel that, and then put a rock line on here. See if we can extend this out, and then let's go down a little. Old aqua force pump I've had lying around. That'll work. I'm just gonna extend it. Okay. Have it come back, drop down in there, so yeah. it just recirculates. Wow, what a beautiful pump. Blue? Yes. Blue. That's what we need. Oh, wow. Look at you got Look at that glue, Cole. Wow. It's uh, glue. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. That's really cool. Now we can extend it. Yes. Have it come all the way out. Grab us that pipe over there. Grab us the pipe. Pipe. Oh yeah, I like this. I like the way this looks. Oh my, more glue, Cole. We're gonna make it easy where you can drain it out. Yeah, that. That's a 90. That's a 40 right there. It's 100% a 40. It's gonna be like Niagara Falls. You gonna glue her? Maybe we should go see if it fits first. Yeah, before we start gluing everything. <laughs> oh, you need one more little piece, don't you? Stick it right in there. Just for a quick, easy return. Wow. Boom. <laughs> wow. And then we can put our lid on here. We actually got a little filter pad we're gonna put right here. Let's, uh, rock it, let's yeah. gravel and rock. Yeah. That's a I pretty good sized pond. Gonna... It's not very deep, but it's enough for them to kind of get under there and get all wet. Now we just gotta rock her in and make her look all nice. Well, we got coal over here doing coal yeah. things. It's gonna be your clean out pipe here. So that's what I attach on when I want to clean it out. So I'm gonna drain well, it out. I'll turn, keep this hanging in the duck bend. Turn the pump off. Yep. Okay. And then you can cut that through and then all you have to do is connect this right into that pipe and then the water will drain out. So I'll cut a little hole in the cut side of the duck bend. in there and then just attach this, spray it down. Yeah. As you're doing it, just to get some of that, that stuff, excess yeah, muck out, kind yeah. of a little clean out, pump that's it out. Cool. That's perfectly fine. Let it run until it gets real nasty and see how uh, yeah. How long it lasts. Golden, love it. So if you guys didn't catch on to that, this is a clean out pipe. I'm gonna cut a hole about the about this big in the side of the duck pen, or at least where that PVC fits through. Oh, I wanna clean it out. I attach this onto the end. This comes out of the duck pen. I turn the pump back on and it starts shooting it out of the duck pen rather than back into it. So I can clean it out much easier. So that's a sick little system we got going on. But the ducks, I think they're gonna like it. I don't even know what Cole's doing over here. Oh, filters. So we use the old aqua block, cut it in. Wow. Kind of a makeshift filter to kind of help filter out. Kind of like your skimmer, have your skimmer has a filter in there. Yeah. Kind of help protect the pump a little nice. and still kind of filter out some of the muck and waste. Let it stay clean a little longer. Nice. We're using this one, it's a little more heavier duty. Don't do this at home. Boom, filter. So gonna drop this right here in the little pondless bolt. Like that. All the water flow comes down through there, goes through that pump, helps filter things out. I love it, Cole. So you won't see this. Yeah. Actually, we probably just do gravel. How much gravel we got? A lot. We got a lot. Right. Working good. I met it. It's good over here. Good over here. Cole's placing more rocks. So this is probably double the size of the pool they were in almost. Way better. We're gonna actually raise the sides so you see I'm putting dirt under there. That's raising the tarp up so we can even put more water in here so it's even a little bit deeper. So that's our big filter box right there. You see the pipe, that's where the water's gonna come back into the pond. So it seeps through the gravel, down under there, into that box, filters with that filter coal put in there and shoots back out here. And then we're gonna kind of slowly clean this out and drain it. And I'll cut a hole in the duck pen to make everything fit. All right, time to see if our drain works. We're going to plug this in right here. Plugged in like so. Now it's time to plug that in. Cole, it's draining. Working? It's working. Clean off my shoes while I'm at it. Yeah, there we go. You have my shoes in the back of your truck? That's not surprising. I enough. tried to sell them, but they wouldn't buy them. So. Oh, it's like, good. it's fanatic shoes. We should get a little more height of water on there too, so. Oh yeah. 
That would be good. Better Perfect than that stuff. pool. Oh yeah, way better than that pool. Just derock the entire front lawn. Yeah, we gotta redo it. Okay, say goodbye to the entire thing. Yeah, just do it. Big flat. So when I when I get back from Florida, we can redo it. Cause you go to Arkansas, then I go to Florida on Sunday. Okay. All right. Now I might even go to Arkansas to go see Cole. And if I go to see Cole, I'm going to see Nate. So more driving, I guess. Scuba dive. All right. Well, let me know if you guys want to see that. But the drain is working. I gotta go get some more rock. Clean and off. Couple hundred bucks for the liner and the the pump vault. Get a new pump. We use the pump. So. Exactly. You can get a pump and then all you gotta do is get some rocks and boom, dig your hole, make your pond. So probably like once or twice a week, I will let the ducks into this pond so they can have a little bit more swimming area. But for the majority, that's where the clean fresh water is. So they can drink out of that. That's where everything's gonna be extremely filtered. So that's kind of like the goal with that pond right there. We're, they'll be sitting in it all day, of course, but that's where like the clean water is. And then they can come in here and swim and stuff like that a few times a week, but they can swim in there too. They can completely submerge themselves. It's actually fairly deep. The camera, it, you just can't really tell on the camera. It's probably a foot and a half, almost two feet deep. You know, yeah. the water's gonna like splash off that and yeah. it's gonna look sick. So that's kind of what where our water comes. That's like our waterfall right there. That's where the water is constantly moving. And do you know what I could do? 110% stock this thing with minnows once a week. The ducks would eat all the minnows. They eat all the minnows. They love minnows, so I could totally do that. What is Cole doing? Oh, he's hooking it up. Wow, he's making it sick. That is perfect. All right, the next time I turn this camera on, this duck pen behind me is gonna be on top of this pond. So I would film it, but my camera's almost dead, and I want to get this done. So here in just a second, y'all are y'all are gonna see this thing on top of it. It's gonna be sick. Okay, everybody. So Cole went home. We have finished the pond. The ducks have already been in here. It's actually like an hour later. But take a look at this. Now it's still gotta clear up a little bit, but. The ducks now have their very own pond. We've still got a final like product video because not everything is done yet. They're still like scaping and stuff to do around it. And Zenny's on hold right now. But no, big thank you to Cole. His link will be in the description. You guys, if you want a pond, that's the guy to get a hold of. 100%. I highly recommend it. So he works with Aquascape. These are all Aquascape products. But no, stop it. <laughs> but no, 100%. Like it was, it's insane. I absolutely love it. The fish in the pond are doing amazing. The ducks are also doing fantastic. Fantastic. Look at the bass. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Look at the bass right there. No, guys, but like I said, if you've yet to join the channel, click the subscribe button down below. Me and Zenny are driving to Austin tomorrow night because we're going to go stay in a tiny house for the night and then hang out in Austin all day the next day. So going we're going zipline. I don't know. We're going to go do some fun stuff in Austin. But yeah, that that was awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you've yet to join the channel, click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fnatic.media. We're actually going to be laying some floors later. That might be in my next video for a little bit, just some filler content and demolishing stuff. That's what's going to be in the video, actually. But like I said, if you have any videos, ideas, suggestions, things that can go in here as well, that won't take up space that the ducks could benefit from comment them down below as well this pond is sick a lot of you guys have been awaiting on this but yeah if you guys like this video click the like button join the channel and follow me and zenny on instagram in the link in the description as well as cole with all that being said i'll catch you next time on the next episode of fanatic peace right.